Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Now today we are doing a little breakfast meet at Ockham Bites uh, in Surrey. This is a venue I've been to many times before and it is a very popular one. This is definitely something we're going to be doing on a sort of monthly or every other month because it is just absolutely stacked out with TTs as far as the eye can see. Uh, it is a great venue, they do a lovely breakfast, there's loads of parking, there's facilities. It is just amazing. Now before we jump into it and have a look around, let's jump to the intro. Morning. Hi. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. You all right? That's good timing. So um, walking into the venue, it's a lovely backdrop setting, nice woodland setting. There's a National Trust car park. You've got woodland and walking in the background. There is some lovely facilities here and for pictures, it is absolutely gorgeous. We have got an absolute predator of cool Mark 1s, Mark 2s, and even some Mark 3s. We've got everything from a completely standard low mileage example to highly tricked up ones with bigger turbos and everything in between. We'll have a quick walk around. Um, some of these cars you may recognize. This is Lewis's. He's just put these new wheels on and they are gorgeous. The only concern I have is, yeah, they're curb finders. <laughs> they stick out, I would smash them to crap. So this has got the, uh, the CB Auto big brake kit. It's got loads of other stuff. We've got over to Jude the YouTuber, there he is that, doing a bit. Uh, we've got absolutely loads here, look. So yeah, Jeff's one's done low mileage. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but it is low. We've got Chris Johnson's. Now this one I've seen on Instagram a lot, but it's the first time I've actually meeting him. What a gorgeous thing it is. Come to him as a standard car. Look at this, look, gorgeous. And them wheels, I bet they look mega rolling. What's going on here then? How's he going to drive with no steering wheel? That's unusual. <laughs> so he's got uh, the old click off boss. This is Jason Case's 3 2 with the hard top. So it is a roadster with a matching hard top. And look at that interior. That is gorgeous. So their pole positions re upholstered half leather, or sorry, twin coloured leather. Some more YouTubers there, look. He's got a Mark II steering wheel. He's got some big snazzy wheels. You've got Adam Tankards. This is gorgeous. So these, these two gents here, free two breaker, one eight turbo breaker. So if you ever need any bits, go find them. There's some Inspiri wheels, having a bit of a change up. Now this, carbon mirrors, black baseball with green seat belts. And I don't know how well you can see that, but he's got black baseball in the rear as well. That is a full interior. So that come out of the factory full interior that is mad never seen one of them before merlin purple mixed car done a lot of miles in it really likes it done really enjoyed the car did a really long time got joe's here sporting some snazzy bits there is that silver grill silver car <laughs> work in progress yeah got a nice mark to it chris's car chris's mark two Car Chris's Mark One. This one, have I seen this one before? I think so, yeah. Oh, right, spoilers. Oh, hello, hello, hello. So, creamy leather, black on the sides. Very cool. And that, big spoiler. Mark Two on top of the Mark One. What else have we got here? So, oh, someone's, they're leaving. So this is your Dolomite. Are you off? Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah. See you later. Nice to meet you, mate. See you later. So we actually only bought that car a couple of days ago. He just brought it to the meet. This is nice. I've got a thing for dark blues and with the yellow accents and he's got a K brace. Just makes it, oh, a little sound bill, very nice. Very nice. Here's my dad's 30,000 mile SLK. So I've come down in the Mauritius 225. Looking very clean, sporting the new interior. I'll give you a look at that. Oh yeah. 
gorgeous. Enough of that. <laughs> Next we've got Big Chris's TTS. Look at the size of the subs in that thing. They're humongous. Nice screen and build there. Another new one that I've not seen before. Could do with a wash, but he rushed to get it done. Can't fault him. Big front mount hanging out of it. Very nice. You don't see many Goodwood greens, so it is nice when you see them. What we got next? Ah, oh, so there's a Nimbus. Now this is, so this is Dolomite. And then here is Nimbus. So this is kind of a mix between Aviator and Dolomite. It's sort of like a flatter gray, but not quite as dark. Not quite as light, so I want about. But this has got the red interior here, look. Really nice low mileage example, that one. If you watch any of my videos before, that's in the Hemel meet. We've got a, quite a few silver cars here today. Obviously a really popular color. They always stay clean, so that's always nice. Nice original example, that one. Grant's Quattro Sport, which is very, very tricky. This one is nice. Look at this. Low, clean, Porsche wheels. Very nice. Now this is a car you may or may not recognize. So this, the guy actually won it on Anton's Vagra cycle. So this is a two liter TFSI TT. It's sporting the AP big brakes. It's got a full interior build. It is a very, very special thing. 360 odd horsepower, um, so quite a, Quite a bit of a TT and it's more reliable than the Mark 1, which is always nice. <laughs> Got this V6 here sporting some lovely rotiform wheels, which I bet are a pain to clean, but they look fabulous. That is a really nice, see, I'd quite happily do that to mine. I should have bought my V6 really, but you've got Andy Charger's TT here, <laughs> as he looks at me. Um, but yeah, this is definitely quite a busy meet and I must admit, there's cars still arriving now, which is cool. Really clean thing. So this is a Quattro Sport I have not seen before. So this has got the poles. It's got a few other bits, red seat belts, glorious looking thing. All black. Wow, that is lovely. Really, really nice looking one. Let's move on. What else we got? Oh yeah, a 180 all the way from up north. Really, really clean looking one. Done loads of work to it. Mark two. Oh, back to a Mark one. Here we go, look. Morrow blue. Oh, look. What we got here? What we got? Oh. What one's that? The that's Creation or that's a, that's Creation a, Motorsport one? Or is it no, the... No, I bought that one as an eBay special. Oh, eBay special. Or yeah. Up. Nice. Yeah. Catch can, big filter. It looks good. Yeah. Happy with it? Well. Yeah, it's going well. Yeah, yeah. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? It's nice. There is literally TTs everywhere you look. I'm running out of time here. So this is Barry's Quattro Sport replica. Now, it's actually quite hard to decipher between them. Obviously, it doesn't have the black tipped exhaust, but it does have the phantom black trim. It does have the spats. It's got the black top. The only thing is, obviously, it doesn't have the wheels. And if you look in the interior, apart from having the comfort seats, it hasn't got the Alcantara bits and bobs, so you never actually know 100%. What else have we got this side? So we've got this lovely silver one with the black wheels. You've got some green pipe work, so I'm guessing it's got a oh, it's green paint. How oh, nice. Quite a nice looking thing. Definitely done some, so what does it say? If you think this is slow, wait till it goes uphill. <laughs> Love that. Oh, okay. I remember this one. Look at this. That is some build. Who needs a boot anyway, huh? <laughs> Custom exhaust. I like it. I like it. We'll have to come back to that in a bit. And then we've got a few more sneak on this side. That's before we even go into the middle. We are lucking out here. A nice, original, honest one. That's what I like to see next to Wayne's. All the way from up north. Oh, you have bow? A manual 3.2. Oh, we like a manual 3.2. Very nice. We got a Mark II. Look at this. Look. This is what I like about these the size of the pipework. Look. Humongous great big intake. 
Oh, look at this. I don't know where the camera's going to pick this up, but that colour is gorgeous. All right. Oh, this is, I like that. I like that. That's interesting, isn't it? That's very cool. I've never seen anyone do that before. I like that. But that has either definitely had some body work or it is just absolutely immaculate. This is ridiculous. That is so clean. So clean. What else we got? We've still got more TTs everywhere we go. TTs, TTs. Trying to get round them all. Nice original one with cream interior. You don't see cream very often. Parking everywhere now because we've run out of space. Oh, look, another nice clean example. Look at this, look, just interior trim, dressed nicely. Makes such a big difference. So everyone talks about doing all these different aftermarket things. Look, stock engine just looks immaculate. Really nice thing, really clean car that. That's either not done many miles or it's just been really well looked after. There's the YouTuber Jude. Jude, shout out the channel. That kid fixes. That kid fixes. We'll put the link down in the description. Go give him a follow. He's keeping his dad's car on the road for him. Got this beautiful green thing. Again, another green. This is really nice condition greens, isn't it? Oh, wow. So this, as far as I'm aware, is a one of one. Now, it's parked next to an Avis, but look at that. It's like a mint green color. Really nice looking thing. Very odd. And if you look, you don't look close enough, you might not see it, but it is definitely like a minty green color, silver interior. Really nice thing that. Won't be for everyone. It's a 180 or a 150, or a 163 or a 191, <laughs> whatever the other options are, but a very cool thing nonetheless. Votex, oh, now we're talking, look at this, look. Votex kit, wheels. Oh, it's a full kit, oh, wow. So you don't see full Votex kits very often. The rear bumper's not for me, but the rest I absolutely love. And I can totally appreciate it with the S-Line badges. Really nice bit of kit, that. The lower side skirts definitely make a big difference. See if I can get a side on. Just looks so good. So this one you'll have probably seen on the channel a few times. Tricky headlights, gold wheels, and that lovely fin spoiler, which hides the petrol caps, you need to open the boot to put petrol in. And rear lights as well, LED rear lights. So this thing, I heard, overheard someone saying that this has been to Badger 5s and is like 450 horsepower or something. Hell of a, look at the size of that thing. Like a four inch intake, big Garrett turbo hanging off of it. I bet that goes well. Very cool thing that, it's nice to see that people are still spending some money on these. Got Steve's here, Votex wheels, cream leather, non-res Scorpion, which is why I bought mine. <laughs> Sounds phenomenal. You got Alex's. So Alex is on the channel. He's bought both of them. Got his missus to drive the three-two, which is hers, arguably, even though he wants to mod it. <laughs> the manual three-two, and then his noggy, which is gorgeous. And of course, Nigel, because they twin everywhere. Beautiful cars. Nice to see them always together. Look at them. Look. Oh. Gorgeous. Some lovely, lovely stuff here. Black and red, look at the combo on that. Team dynamic wheels as well. You don't often see team dynamic wheels on a TT, but I like the multi spokes, not for cleaning, just for looking. Oh, the track cars here. Love this. Look at this. A bit of you? You find a car to do this to? <laughs> Adam's that, yeah. I did yeah. Track car, then I sold it. <laughs> Everything's for sale. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 Love that. Look at this build. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll leave him talking. We'll definitely come back to that one in another day. But, guys, so. Enough of filming, I'm going to have to go and walk around and talk to some people because there is some stuff I want to chat about, see what's got going on, maybe make a plan for the future for one or two of mine as well. 
Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. If you want to see where these meets are going to be, we're going to try and do one here every couple of months. So keep an eye out for that. We're trying to get a calendar sorted where everyone can just dump all the meets in one place so then no one misses them going forward. So if you're not on Facebook, you're not on Instagram, of course you're on YouTube. Um, but hopefully we've got a centralized calendar. Keep an eye out for that. That'll be coming up in the not too distant future. But guys, as always, thanks for watching. Bye for now.